Hey everybody, it's me, the Unboxers Man, but you probably knew that already. And welcome to my new showcasing series of Mario Kart Double Dash! Two exclamation points! Cause seriously, like, wherever you see this game, the two exclamation points next to Dash are still technically there. But yes, I am actually showcasing this game as usual. So basically, if you if for those who are new to the channel, showcasing is basically where I show everything off of the game. If it's a spin-off game, a weird game that doesn't really have an interesting story or whatever. So, uh, so now we are going to start on this game. I really like this game, and this is also going to be the first GameCube game that I'm ever going to do on the channel. And I know if this reception is bad, that's okay. It, it's a freaking GameCube game. On, on the home menu, it says that the year is 2032. So, you, you, you can definitely see where this is going. So, but anyways, without further ado, let's -a go. No memory card in slot A. Continue without saving game data. Um. Uh. Well, sorry about that, guys. I for uh, the, the memory card in slot A, for some reason, like, wasn't pushed in all the way. But anyway, now we're going to start the game. Obviously, since there's only me, we have to do one player. So, we can do one player, two players, etc. And we'll be getting to how really multiplayer works probably in the next episode, because that's how we'll have something else. There's Grand Prix and Time Trails. We're gonna mostly just do Grand Prix. And then we can choose our CC. So basically, you can beat the game four times, each with a different CC. Once you beat the game 50 CC, the credits roll and blah, blah, blah. Once you beat 100 CC, the same thing. And you might be saying, why four endings? There's only three options here. Well, if you do all three, I believe uh, a new mode opens up that's called mirror mode. But we'll be getting to that later. And for now, let's choose uh, 50 CC, why not? So now we have a, s a selection of characters, but up at the top of the screen it says, select character combination. That's because in this game, as you couldn't tell already, you could play as two characters on the exact same cart, which is freaking awesome. So I, I, c I can be Mario over here and then pick like, I don't know, uh, Diddy Kong. I mean, of course I'm not going to do that, but yeah. So basically what I'm gonna do is each episode I'll do a duo of sorts. So obviously for this episode, I'll do Mario and Luigi, but that doesn't really suit so well. So uh, I guess Luigi and, I said Luigi, Luigi and Mario, there we go. And so now we can just select the cart. Unfortunately, you can't customize cards, but I guess we'll go with that. Uh, um, I'm not sure yet. Um, uh, we'll, we'll go with this one. Yeah, why not? So now we can select a cup. We have mushroom cup, flower cup, star cup, and later we have a special cup. So in this episode, we're going to do the mushroom cup which has Luigi Circuit, Peach Beach, Baby Park, and Dry Dry Desert. So let's -a go. Is this okay? Yes, it is. So I should have probably explained the controls by now because I haven't played this. I technically haven't played this game, but I have seen many videos of it. So I know what I'm doing, kind of. So three, two, you start going now. Uh, okay, I guess so. So, I haven't really played this, so I don't really know what to do. Anyways, this is Luigi Circuit, the, the laughing stock of this episode. And there's a lot of controls. You hold down A for acceleration. I believe you can switch, you press Z to switch an item, I think. I think this is pretty good. So, we have uh, item boxes. These give you items, or more specifically, two items. I forget which button does items. Yeah, why does items? And you can throw and you can throw your items at opponents like the red shell. This throws your items at other opponents and knocks them around and such. And as you can see here, Mario is kind of getting dragged on the floor. It's kind of yes! Now we have the mushroom. It gives you a speed boost of sorts. Now we're at lap two! And as you can see, it's the same thing indicating that we have a different lap. So, and we have more items, I'm going to showcase them along as well, as usual. So, there's 
and you can also have items just kind of lying around the tracks. So you can have different things. Here we have the introduction of a special item. Different kinds of combinations can have different types of effects. For example, if you have Mario and Luigi at the same time, you can get the fireball, which lets you do, which lets you, uh, well, which lets you like throw a bunch of fireballs in front of you. But I got, I just got knocked it out. So now I can throw it, da da, and. DK got burned to their butts. And oh hey, it's the final lap, and I'm currently in third place. So yeah, that's the introduction of special items. X, I, I forget what X does. Oh, here's another, uh, here's another uh, fireball. Uh, R. If you hold down R, by the way, when doing a, tr uh, when turning, uh, then you will do a drift. Drifts allow you to gain more speed, as well as uh, make you do uh, tight turns. So, yeah. So, you can definitely see why it's a good item. So, here we go. Drift, drift, drift. And not get it. So, yeah, I'm kind of fumbling here. Hey, I've never played this, but oh, yeah. anyways, we got second place, and this is the ranking system. Basically, whichever place you get, you earn a certain amount of points for each rank, and then it combines with all the other players, and however many points you get determines uh, your overall ranking. So we're in second place, right behind Koopa and Paratroopa. So now we can do next course, a replay, or quit, so I'm just going to go to the next course. Replay would just re do like a survey of what it is. Anyways, this is Peach Beach, and for those who've played Super Mario Sunshine, then this is gonna look very familiar. That's because this is basically Pianta Village, or Pianta Square. Uh, except, you know, it's formed into a racetrack. It's kind of weird. But we just drifted into that, into that tree. I guess drifting isn't the best thing. So here we have Beach Beach. It's pretty great. And oh, is that a cruiser in the background to the left of the screen? Hmm, I wonder why that's there. Anyways, uh, we're going to throw this fireball. And here we have triple mushrooms. Basically, they're the same thing as regular mushrooms, except uh, for whatever, except you can go triple the boost, which is pretty cool. And, yeah, there is no, like, going on, there is no, like, uh, say, driving on walls or flying in this game, like, seven or eight, but there, there is these double-up mechanic stuff, so, yeah. We have the red shell. I think we already went over this, but you throw it and it holds in on the first player in front of you. And here we have Cataquax, which launches into the sky. Not really doing so hard. Uh, let's see, what do we get now? We have another fireball. Wow, that's a lot of fireballs. And we'll hit our baby self. Here we have a green shell. I think we've already seen these before, but in case you forget, they're uh, basically just red shells, except they're not homing, so they kind of suck. So, yeah. We have another fire flower. Jeez. I, I, I don't know why. I'm getting so many items! Anyways, that was water. It sinks you down to the bottom of it, and you're kinda eh. Nice. So, currently, we are in third place, and currently, we're gonna attack our future selves with more fireballs. Uh, here we have more fireballs. Find ourselves, and we actually got somebody. And also, we finished the race. Hey, that's a pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, hey, it's a pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, we are still in second place in ranking wise, so we need to improve somehow. So, we can do the next course or replay. I'm gonna do the next course, of course. Hey, run. Here we have Baby Park. It, it says that laps are seven freaking laps, and that's because, I even because this course um, isn't uh, 
too big. It's uh, people like it because of just the chaotics of this game. Because you know this game is supposed to be of its chaoticness. Because you know it's two times the players. That means two times the items. Uh, two times the mobility. Two times the customization, and two times the fun, bro. And that's really what made this game amazing. Because it had just two times everything. And everyone likes, everybody likes Mario Kart, except for everything is times twice. Uh, yeah. that, that's why everybody really liked this part, because it was a simple track combined with all the wacky stuff going on. It was just a hit, and it still is a hit. Really. So as you can see, we're, we're in what I assume is a baby park. But it's also kind of like a museum. Circus, or I, I don't know what the word for it would be, like like a fun fair. I I'm not really sure, but it's it's less of a baby. It's less of a baby park than it is uh, than it is like an amusement park. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. You know, there's like a Ferris wheel. There's a roller coaster. I'm not sure I would qualify this as like a toddler's toy. But hey, it's Nintendo. It's fucking Nintendo, so they can do whatever they want. And oh, I just ran into something. I'm not sure what it was, but oh, come on! What I got hit by there was a Bowser shell, which we'll be getting into what they are later on. But for now, let's just get on the final lap. And special attack. I actually got them somehow. Come on! <sighs> okay, we got third place, guys. Just, just, just third place. Oh yeah. And yeah, I know that this isn't exactly the most exciting thing in the world, but hey, it's you gotta give it to me. It's my first time playing, so I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say, but. Yeah, we're still in second place in the leaderboard, so eh, I'm not I'm not sure what to say, guys. But I guess we can try the replay. It's basically a highlight reel of whatever we did. Or whatever. So we got that place. But yeah, it's basically just a replay of what we just did with some fancy camera angles, or whatever. So it is. There isn't much to say here. So we can, we could just go to uh, the next course. Here we have dry, dry desert. As you can expect, it's a dry, dry desert. Don't know what else to say. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty dry, dry desert. Or in the past, it was called a Let's just ignore that for right now. So focus on the course. And we just hit those Koopas like twice in a row. I feel pretty bad. So I, I really hope we can get some new items. I'm really happy about it. And so this is a sand pit. If you go in the middle of the sand pit, you'll die. So you have to avoid the sand pit. Here we have some pokies. You can go like in the middle of the, the middle of some of the pokies. And you can do like some fancy schmanty techniques. But of course I'm just getting hit by them. So. It's best to avoid them. Or it's best to go underneath them like that. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm still not ship shape. Uh, what if you press X, you can honk your horn, which is pretty funny. Go up here, it's a tornado, and you get tornadoified. And I, I, I just can't help but do the horn. I mean, guys, it's a freaking horn. So I guess we'll use it here, here, and here. To avoid most of the track and just go right next to the sand pit. So I just really can't help but calling it the sand pit. It's just too funny. Erg! 
Hey, our baby selves got injured too. But hey, that means that we got injured as well. Oh uh, no, come on now. So this is the introduction of random hazards. For some reason, randomly, you can just get shrinked and so will every other player on the track. I don't know why it happens, it just does. So yeah, be, be not that common about it. It's very common, to be honest. It's very, very common to happen. Just, it, just shrinking a lot. I'm not sure where to go with this. So right over here, we have some couple turns. And it looks like we have an item. So yeah, and I just don't know what to say here. There's anything too exciting going on. Okay, I immediately take that back. Come on, get up. And another shrinking thing. Wow. How stupid. Just here's another item box. And oh, we got a new item at the last second. This is a mystery box. You throw it and it looks like a regular item box, but it's not. Mario get you next time. Awesome. Awesome. Mario will get you next time. Uh, anyways, we have our results and we still got in second ranking, so I guess we'll just have to uh, leave it like that. I guess. So now we have the award ceremony. What is that? Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. This is what it is. trophy for each one. Every time you complete a different cup, you get a different trophy. This time since we got in second place, we got a silver trophy. With Mario, Luigi, and the cart. The mushroom cup at 50cc. Nine, about 10 minutes, 30 points. And now we can enter our name. So of course, I guess, um, actually, I, I don't know what I'll do. Um, I, yeah, I, I really don't know what I'll do. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll do B. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Saving game, Donna. And now we are go bringing back to the title screen for some reason. I don't know why we do, but we do. So in the next episode, we will go back to 50cc, choose a different character, you probably know which one, and start the next cup, AKA the flower cup. So, so see you guys. So see you guys next time. You probably knew that already, so we'll just cut it short here. And I'll see you all then. Later. <laughs>